A somewhat glib response from Chief Executive Mark Capes to a query put forth by Dr. Linda Williams during Tuesday's consultative forum meeting has a number of residents in the community concerned. Some call it a not most disrespectful move by Chief Executive Capes. Let's take a look at that exchange that sparked the controversy. The, the Chief Executive also believes to confirm the total number of advisors that are avoid, avoid by the and cake, and cake government and indicate this distribution in the, in the public service. The Chief, the chief Executive offer further give a breakdown of one of the expenditure associated with advisors in the, in the following areas. Sal salary and allowances, housing, official job. And I am in, in that travel, travel be bundled down in international travel as well as local travel. Madam Chair, there are currently just two technical advisors employed by the Turks and Caicos Islands government. One is a civil engineer working in the Engineering Maintenance Service Department, EMS, where he's providing expert technical, technical advice and helping to streamline processes and procedures. The other person is attached to the Customs Department, where he is providing expert advice on all aspects of customs work, including an Asicuda, on Asicuda, the automated customer processing program. Thank you, Madam Chair. Now, Chief Executive Capes only answered the first two parts of Williams's three-pronged question. He did not address the salary, housing, and other allowances for advisors, and Williams was clearly stated as such. Madam Chair, I don't think um unless unless some let the let the executive has has responded. The best question as it was put. I'm um, bring in there the two two persons and seven and told where they are placed. But I've also asked for a breakdown in the expenditure associated with their employment. If he has that information, I would like to have an idea. If not, I'd be willing to wait and receive it when it is available. Madam Chair, I don't, I don't have that information. Um, quite frankly, I'm not sure why we need public servants to go into digging into these issues um, for the two advisors from the UK. Um, we have been down this road before, and I, I just wonder where this questioning is going, actually. Um, I think you know, there, are, there are other issues that we can spend our time on uh, finding information rather than this. Madam Chair, may I respond? I think, think the, the forum, me as a part of the forum, Turk Turk take a people have ever to question those things, things that affect us. Especially anything that has been done been for which our clerks and clans and clans government has a, has a little commit. commit. I, I always within, within my right to, 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 and in, and in the people I write to ask that, that question. And, and um, I, did, I did not buy, buy the details as to why, why this, this indication is, is necessary. But, but it's poor, poor for I am, I am and run rather to this needs to say, say, maybe do not, do not tell to do, to do the thing, thing. Ask, ask me, the person responsible for this, 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 getting it in straight from, from you, the, the nation, nation, and, and, um, whether or not, or not the UK officials or Caribbean officials. As a matter of fact, I'm just now being informed that they are really UK officials. I had no idea who they were. This is why I ask to be told, and I think I'm well within my right and the people's right to make such a request. But this is, this is um, I wonder, wonder this information is really nearly needed, but if we, if, we, if we can get it, we will provide it. I don't have it with me at the moment. Now there is a feeling among members of the forum that Chief Executive Capes owes Dr. Linda an apology. 
Also sharing those sentiments is leader of the PNP, Clayton Green. That is why that is why I was I was disappointed um, in what happened in the forum in the forum yesterday. What I would say um, is when one considers the fashion in which Mr. Capes spoke to Dr. Linda, and she's our Dr. Linda, mm -hmm. and whether you like her or hate her, mm -hmm. she's a product. She's a product of this country. She has reached academically um, to what what we perceive as the highest um, level of degree. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and we should not stand for her to be res disrespected in that fashion. Um, and what I would encourage the, the members of the forum to do is to stand with her and insist um, that, that Mr. Capes publicly apologizes to her. The heated debate continued on popular radio talk show expressions as members of the public weigh in on November 10th. But the section that evoked a great deal of discussion, too, had to do with Mark Capes' response, uh, Mark Capes, the chief executive officer, uh, to Dr. Linda Williams' question uh, as to the technical officers in the Turks and Caicos Islands. And uh, many found his comments quite offensive for a member to answer his equal uh, in that manner, I don't know where this question is leading or why there are so many other important matters. I characterized it as being a uh, smacking of, of our arrogance. And I thought that he was quite out of order to answer that way. There are many callers who felt that he should apologize to Dr. Linda Williams. There are a few who actually gave their ultimatum that by Saturday morning he should apologize. Well, that's another kettle of fish. I'm not into that part of it. But I, I really felt that his attitude, uh, particularly under the circumstances that we are experiencing right now, is totally uncalled for. Now, according to a public statement submitted by Dr. Linda Williams today, November 11th, at the end of the meeting, I pursued the matter with Mr. Capes, making it very clear that his behavior was unacceptable. Mr. Capes indicated that his response meant no offense but apologized nonetheless and committed to having the information to me in a short while. On Wednesday, November 10th at 12.55 noon, Mr. Capes had his response hand-delivered to me. I am satisfied that the information adequately satisfied my expectation. Additionally, Mr. Capes communicated his apology in the written response sent on Wednesday. I have spoken with H.E. the governor, making clear my position on the matter. His Excellency apologized for any offense taken. Mr. Capes still has an opportunity to respond nationally, as he did in the forum. However, I am not making this a big issue. My commitment is to the people of the Turks and Caicos Islands, even when it means engaging in unpleasant debates. I am a big girl, and I am not easily ruffled. I have always tried to follow my convictions, and that I will continue to do." End quote. For WIV4 News, I'm Takara Bain.